Hi, my name is Andy Colbar and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome to this Riedel how-to video. My name is Andy Colborn and in this clip we're going to be talking about the function dim crosspoint. Now let's imagine the scenario where there are multiple people speaking into one specific destination and there's one user that's coming through a lot louder than all the other users. Or let's say one of the users is a lot quieter than all the others and this person is struggling to be heard because there's another source playing through the destination. Maybe there's a loudspeaker in the studio, the program audio is coming through and one of the producers doesn't really have a loud voice and so this producer is struggling to be heard because of the program feed that is coming through the speaker. What we can do in this kind of scenario is run the function dim crosspoint, which will allow us to take the volume of a specific source in a specific destination and turn the volume down. So in order to program that, we will right click on one of the keys. In this case, we're using Stephanie, the audio engineers panel, but obviously it can happen from any panel in the intercom system. We're gonna add the function dim cross point. Now when you see it referred to as XP, that doesn't have anything to do with the old operating system. It really is just a shortcut for cross point. So we're going to select that, which brings up the window where we can choose what the source is. So let's say we're going to take the program audio and we're going to dim it in the loudspeaker in the studio. So now we've selected the source, we've selected the destination. All that's left to do is choose how many dBs we're going to dim the audio by. Let's say 9 dB. That's something noteworthy. Now, if we go to the general tab for this key, then we can affect the key properties. And it does make sense to make a change to the key label simply so that it's obvious to Stephanie what she's going to be influencing when this comes up. So we could say PGM loudspeaker minus or we could even shorten that somewhat minus six and that way Stephanie knows exactly what's going to be turned down by how much in where and so once we select that then straight away program loudspeaker minus six Stephanie knows what she's going to be doing I hope that explains it to you in sufficient detail. Please do leave your comments in the section below and don't forget to subscribe in order to ensure that you don't miss out on any future video releases we make explaining how to do stuff with Riedel Artist.